Bunch of death bell. What was going on here? Oh, they were burying them in here? Oh, shit. Did they run out of storage then? Oh my god, these ones are fucking babies! Oh, jeez. Or they shrunk them. <laughs> I, I, I feel like they're... <laughs> I feel like they're children. <laughs> I don't think they sh <laughs> These aren't dead children at all! This is environmental storytelling letting us know down the line inside of here, we're gonna learn the shrinking shout. <laughs> When we had last left, the last dragonborn, they fixed a whole lot of weird issues that they had somehow ran into. Like, for example, they were now able to fly again. Koznak had returned. But, of course, solving so many things led them only to more issues that needed solving. But this time, it was more normal stuff, like a ruin that needed plundering and a mask that needed retrieving for a single dude camped outside of the impressive Foral Host Super Ruin, and inside it was really big. <laughs> now it was time to go probably face down a dragon priest and get their cool mask. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Joop. There we go. Well, let's do it. Alright, let's pop a quick save here. Apologies <gasps> as well, by the way. We will... Uh, I'll be going out of town later this week for about half a week. So, it may be likely that later videos, the next two or so, might be a little bit shorter. We'll see. Look, Kosnak is here. Let's he got going. stuck on this. Okay. Lead on. Sure. Amazingly, I guess he can navigate down here. Yeah, it's just the stairs that are the issue, not the twisting waterlogged tunnels. Yeah, I mean, if Gordon... Yeah, look, there's Kosnak. I was about to say, if Gordon can get through, Kosnak probably can too. Okay. Should we get, like, a spider friend? Heck yes. I don't even know if that spider friend will be able to fit. Okay. Go on down here. Yeah, maybe the spiders are trapped. They got too big. They can't fit out the little corridor. Huh. I'd believe it. Okay. Yeah, so we already fully cleared out everything here, I think. Yeah. Oh, jeez! The Super Crusher. I forgot about it. Alright. So, we've just got this. The Refectory. Good, good, good. What awaits within? Stairs. <sighs> oh, shit. Some little mummified dudes. Nine gold. Four. Is this a person here? It is. Look, they got like pancaked. Okay. How come they're just laying around, you know? <laughs> they're not even on a fucking table or anything. They just tossed aside the mummified bodies. They went through all the work of wrapping them up and bombing the bodies and everything. Just decided to throw him right down yeah. onto the fucking ground. Ah. Right next to the highly flammable ah. brazier as well. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Well, not even highly flammable. It is on fire. Oh, oh fuck. For once it actually took. Ugh, cover me, Kozanek! Okay. Good. Oh, shit. We awakened a lot more. Did I also awaken something in the other room? I heard some, like, mystical fluttering noise. As if it sounded like a dragon priest waking up. Oh, God, there are so many dudes on the map right now. <laughs> on our radar. Okay. Oh, shit. Run into third person instantly. There we go. Get 
Good. Okay, there's some hats up there. Fair enough. Oh. Have they all chilled out? Oh no, wait, look. They're like above us. Or below us. One or the other. Okay. Anything to do with these pieces of equipment? If I remove them from their pedestal? Okay. Weird. Dwarven gauntlets and a leather helmet. Of all things. Okay. Treasure chest. Wow, Daedric arrows. You know what? Maybe I'll just take them. Just for fun. Ebony arrow, ebony bow. More Daedric gauntlets. Or, <laughs> Dwarven gauntlets. They were huge fans of it, apparently. Oh, look, and this one is ready to blow. Okay. This one will actually result in little pokers poking. Oh, no. It's actually shooters shooting. Okay. Anything else around? No, not really. Okay. They put up some skulls here, pinned it right to the, the stone wall. Look, is this going to close behind us as we enter their, like, yum-yum room? <laughs> Look at that dude up there. Okay. Are they going to jump down? No, they're just going to try and shoot at us? Oh, look. Yeah, what's going on with this place? Look, they've just, in the fucking, like, dining hall, they've got all the fucking urns and a few wrapped up dudes. What's going on? Huh. You know, folks have written in before remarking that uh, it's the Draugr who do light and relight all of the candles and braziers. Are they also continuing the embalming process? Like, if you if you just drop off, like, a corpse, are they going to draugr -fy it? I don't know. Is that why all the tools are still out, or do they just not fuck with that? They only mess around with, like, lighting the candles. Which you would think, if they did that, there would be a whole lot more tools around for lighting candles. But it's mostly just, like, embalming shit. Okay. Anything else? Urn, poop bucket. Just loads of urns. Holy crap. Big old door. Okay. Well, it is this section of the dungeon that we need to be in. Alright, so this will probably open up later, or it's a loop around. Yeah, I think it's a loop around, because look, there's a lever. You can see it right through the grate. Okay. Sure. Inside of this, one gold piece. Okay. You know what? Maybe this isn't for eating. It looks like it's for eating, but maybe it's at. Oh, look, a note. But maybe it's actually for embalming. Or both. Woo! <laughs> okay. Let's head over here. Let's read the note. Good thing I jumped on top of the table like a dingus. Otherwise, I would not have seen the note here whatsoever. <laughs> right? They even put lighting on it, you know? See, they got lighting there, but the problem is when you're crouched down sneaking, it blends in so well because of the, like, warm glow of the candle. Okay. Note. In an era far across the seas of time, it has been foreseen that Alduin shall return to cleanse the land in the fires of his wrath. Ragot is right. The walls will soon be breached. Oh, this is probably written by the same person as before. The walls will soon be breached by the heretics, and we must secure the inner sanctum. Do not fear the embrace of death, for it shall last only till the dragons rise again. Then we too shall walk the lands and bring back the true faith. Uh. Well, I don't know. These sound like the dragon cultists, not the people who were here to clear them out. Yeah. Which I guess the dragon cultists maybe sound like- Well, no, they sound like Draugr. <laughs> <laughs> they sound like a Banjo-Kazooie character. <laughs> okay. Great. Love it. Anything else over here? No. Okay. Let's head on into the big door. Or doors urn, some rubble, more webbing. Okay. B 
beautiful brazier. Oh, look. Can we swack this dude? <laughs> Hell yes. Ah! Ooh, trying to blast. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Okay. An ebony warhammer. You know what? It kind of works out that Koznak is favoring the Freezy staff because Sunder doesn't always apply the frosty effect. And it is somewhat useful, you know? Despite the fact that we're not really having too much of an issue with combat anymore. But, uh, you know, slowing them down. There's value in that. Okay. You think over here. Preemptively looted it. Oh, look, they already busted out. Why is it so oily here? Were they just sealed up with a bunch of, like, oil? <laughs> right? Huh. Okay. Sure. Oh, look at this. A flower room. Oh, this one's definitely got... Okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. Well. Oh! <laughs> Good. Got you. Wow, this one's a death lord? It looks like a lower tier one. It's not nearly as armored as I would have expected. Oh, shit, we got more coming down the steps, I think? Or is that just some... It was a trick of the light. Okay. Good. Oh, hey. This one didn't activate. Maybe it's actually a secret doorway. It looks like it could be. Okay. Bunch of death bell. What was going on here? Oh, they were burying them in here? Oh, shit. Did they run out of storage then? Oh my god, these ones are fucking babies! Oh, jeez. Or they shrunk them. <laughs> I, I, I feel like they're... <laughs> I feel like they're children. <laughs> I don't think they should. <laughs> oh, man. In this one, are we going to get the shrink ray shout? Holy fuck. I can't wait. <laughs> That's what this is. These aren't dead children at all. This is environmental storytelling letting us know down the line inside of here, we're going to learn the shrinking shout. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, how fucking dour. <laughs> okay. Over here. Bone meal, gold, refined malachite. Okay. Are these ones more standard sized? No. Yeah, cause look, here's, here's, yeah, you know what? There's actually, I was, I was trying to move the like full grown Draugr that were clearly larger than the, the like wrapped up ones. Like, man, are these ones actually full size? <laughs> Not even paying attention to the fact that, like, yeah, clearly not. There's gigantic ones on top. <laughs> All right. Over here. What have we got? Cool. So is this just meant to be, like, a weird ritual of the dragon cult or whatever? Do you think maybe the dragons demanded that they sacrificed X amount of people every so often to remain in their good graces? into, like, prove that they were subservient or whatever. Sounds believable. Okay. Take some of that. Some death bell. I'll take a soul gem. Okay. All empty. Let's read the orders. Very important looking orders here in a pedestal. All the blossoms are to be harvested at once and brought up to the alchemical lab. Then clear space and begin burial of the children's bodies. Oh my god. Okay. Jesus. That's pretty bleak, huh? Man. Jeez, looking at this? Do you think there's more dead children? Thanks to this, because there's a lot here. Are there more dead children in Skyrim? Then Fallout 3 or Fallout 4 or even combined, right? Which I would argue, you know, those games you would, I, I well, at least I do. I sort of envision them as a bit more dour, a bit more bleak than Elder Scrolls, right? But maybe, the, maybe that's just a, a weird, uh, I don't know, 
because of how how I prefer one slightly more than the other, and I have more of a a fondness for one because I, it was my first ever of their games. Maybe that's why I see it as more lighthearted. I don't know. Because it's true, you like you do deal with some pretty like wild stakes and fucked up shit in Elder Scrolls games. Okay, let's look in here. I don't know. I guess, like the the theme of war and covering war in Fallout, it's you know it's, it's pretty fucking heavy. All right, there we go. Am I sunder not juiced up? Should I juice it up again? Why not? Okay, what's going on? Do we not have a Zura star anymore? Is it just gone? <laughs> did, did I stash it somewhere? Have I not got it anymore? Did, did it just stop working? Hey, it's empty. Huh? Okay. We'll try and do a soul trap. It should work, right? Oh yeah, here's our fun little loop around. Okay. Good. Okay. Oh dear. Oh look. There's a pot of yeah! something. Man, look, Kosnak has straight up grabbed the Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Good thing it didn't fall all the way down there. Okay. Let's run your ass down. Are you gonna wake up? No. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know where Koznak flew to. Maybe he, like, clipped through the entire dungeon. It's just non-stop falling right now. Oh shit, I meant to do a soul trap. Eh, what can you do? <laughs> we'll fight more. Okay. Let's lay down some light. Should I take this, like, charred skeever hide? Eh, we're getting kind of close to being encumbered. I will take the good stuff, though. Cool. Oh, Falmer ear. Oh, look. Wow, another note. Holy shit, I'm getting lucky finding these notes. I bet I missed one somewhere. Okay. Let's see. Alchemist's note. So these folks can just sound however. Th these are from the ancient Nords of Yore, right? But surely we cannot use these. <laughs> it came out, they can't sound. They probably don't sound like this, to be fair. They probably don't sound like a fucking Baldur's Gate NPC. <laughs> we cannot use these poisons on our own brothers and sisters. This plan is madness. Even if the main stairway is collapsed and they find those in the front chambers poisoned. There is no telling that they will stop from clearing the rubble and coming through to burn our bodies before Alduin's return. Regard, it is not that I fear death or refuse to lay down my life in the service of the gods. The snow elf raids in the northern lands may not be enough to draw off the snow strider when he finds us dead. All know of his tenacity. If we are to die, then let us die with blades in our hands, rather than with poison on our lips and daggers at our children's throats. Signed, Head Alchemist Froda. Yeah, that's pretty wild. So they killed them, they're like kids and everybody, as well as like, you know, just, yeah, everybody. Um, because they'd rather do that than fight at the the other folks that were knocking on their front door. The Nords who were in the area looking for snow elves, but decide to come over here. Wild. Very atypical of what you would think of Nords though, right? You know? Very much into... would rather go down swinging than anything else, you know? That's like you're practically a caricature of how a Nord would behave is like, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm, no matter what, even, no matter what the odds, I'm gonna fucking go out fighting, and at least I'll end up in Sovngarde, huh? Now look at this person. Jeez. Wow. How did they even die then? Look, they dodged two arrows, and someone <laughs> firing a sword out of <laughs> their bow as well. <laughs> 
Okay. Sure. What even got you? Maybe they just stayed there. <laughs> they they got trapped. They couldn't they couldn't pick up the sword. The sword trapped them in there. They couldn't lift it. <laughs> All right. It's Ragat's reply. Froda, do not deter the other alchemists from their work. Your views are known to me, and we shall have words about them shortly. Ragat. Okay. They were really keen on writing to each other. So is this Froda then? Seems to be the case. So because Froda, I guess, decided not to do it, a bunch of people tried to kill Froda? But there is no clear arrow or whatever the hit. Unless this one did hit. Maybe it is a hit. It looked kind of like it was... Like it's definitely clipping through the like... I don't know. Pants, skirt, robe, whatever that is on the lower body there. But I can't tell if it's actually meant to be like, oh no, it hit your leg, your thigh. Or if it just barely missed. Maybe she got hit in the butt. Killed her. That was her, like, weak spot, you know? It was glowing orange and everything. Okay. Let's head on over here. Anything else in this fun room? <laughs> no. Oh god, what the hell is this? Look at this! Oh, I feel like there should be, like, something cool here. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Jeez. It's like I'm about to go fucking face down Umaril. Spell Tome Flames. Anything cool going to happen if I pick that up? Nope. More linen. Bunch of chairs. Just vibing in the fucking alchemy room, you know. Take all the money. Good. Okay. Anything else? No, I don't think so. I think we checked it all, didn't we? Over here. Had to do that. Okay. Oh, wow. It really sent everything flying. Okay. Sure. Well, let's pop a quick save. Enter stealth mode in case we can get a free, easy sneak attack. Chow down some salmon, too. Oh, fuck. Okay. Is this like- oh! Oh yeah, it's one of these little doohickeys. It's not very good at hitting me at all. I'm moving around like a complete dingus. <laughs> it just- it, somehow it missed me. Okay, maybe it's because I was crouched and didn't know what the fuck was going on with my hitbox. Hey, look, it's- it's fucking Archer Andy over here. Ah! There we go. Good. Oh, sh oh, I'm dead. Am I dead? Am I gonna survive this one? Holy shit, I'm alive. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Oh, fuck. We will have to go all the way back up. Problem. A lot quicker now that we've explored it all, though, you know? And look, Gordon is here to show us the way. Thanks, Gordon. Let's heal up real quick, too. Okay. Back in here. Yeah, this is where it was. It was worth it for the. Oh, shit. For the sneak attack. Uh oh. Here it comes. Look. I'm wall peeking, corner peeking. Ooh! Kaznak is taking some heat. I'm still in stealth mode. They don't know I'm here. They don't know I'm here. That's how sneaky I am now. They still don't know I'm coming in for the stealth attack, Kaznak. Keep them distracted. Ah! Oh, shit. <laughs> I think it's... <laughs> it's, it's like Beam of Frost hit me. And that was enough for it to realize... Oh, shit! This is hitting someone else other than the shirtless man. There's someone else standing right in front of me. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Apply the poison. Take that. Good. Let's see. Anything cool in here? Oh, look. They would be up here also. Oh, would they eat up here? 
and watch the embalming go on down there? Or maybe they were also embalming people up here too. No. Look, there's like a... Is this a coaster? <laughs> is this a fucking like ancient Nordic coaster? What, they don't want to get the stonework all messed up? Oh, they respect stone for sure. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Anything else good around here? I don't think so. Actually, I guess they don't respect it. Look, all the tankards, none of them are on the coaster. That's totally what that looks- Oh, it's just clipping through. Okay. <laughs> it looked like a coaster to me. Okay, all the other ones are fine, but the the center one there, because I guess it, for whatever reason it also doesn't have the undercarriage like the others. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Same shit going on. Fair enough. Okay. Got a couple of cool heads. Ooh, look at this. The brazier was toppled over. <gasps> okay. Someone already looted a bunch of this stuff. Here, I'll throw a book on there for a future adventurer. There you go. Oh, I tried. Anything else? Oh, shit! Glass Dragon Claw. Is this one gonna, like, try and fuck me up when I take it? I don't think so. Oh, it is. What the hell happened? I didn't see anything. I heard something, though, but it sounded like it was in the other room. Did they wire up their booby trap incorrectly? <laughs> okay. Oh, so in this room, if, th if this was meant to be, like, their library or whatever, when... Snow Strider was, like, banging on their front door, ready to come in and fuck them up. Did they start, like, also burning all of their books and, like, journals and logs and everything? That way there would be no evidence of what they were up to? Their plans? That said, they left the notes, which also, like, told of Alduin coming. Huh. Man. <laughs> yeah, imagine if uh, they did get in this far. <laughs> I guess they never did, you know? If they did get in this far, Snow Striders folks, they would have totally <laughs> learned a, a pretty fucking wild thing that was gonna come <laughs> come out after everybody. Okay. Sure. Jeez. They missed it by just a hair. Probably could have saved a whole bunch of people if they managed to just get through that one door. Okay. Got a secret poop bucket up top as well. Wait, do you think there's anything, like, hidden inside the poop bucket? It's quite hard to... Oh shit, I'm like... What the fuck is going on? I'm like accidentally closing the... You know what, let's just telekinese it. Okay. I was wondering if it was, like, filled with five million fucking diamonds, just like a fun easter egg or something. You never know. Oh, look, there was a pedestal here, also. Okay. Let's top our health off. Would be nice if we found another bed, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Another master locked door. Oh gosh, I forgot again that we have the perk where we start kind of near the sweet spot. <laughs> okay, I'm just not used to having it. Oh, this is how you're normally supposed to disarm it? We can just reach through the little hole. Okay. They had really short arms. Oh, this must have been what opened up. That was the noise that we had heard earlier. Okay. Let's see, anything else? Nah, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Oh. You gained access. <gasps> it's true. Okay. What's in here? Ultimate Magica, a Conjurer's Potion. I'll just drink it now for fun. Okay. Should we look back here? Didn't we get access to this place by way of going through a master locked door? Right? No, maybe not. Maybe I'm tripping some major balls here. It's happened before. It will happen again. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we just walked up. 
Okay, fair enough. Let's continue on back out and through. Yeah, this place is titanic. It's really winding and all that. It's fun, though. Right? See, this is what I'm talking about with all these fucking, um, every so often. <laughs> if you know what I mean, you really know what I mean. But every so often, someone will make a fucking post about, like, uh, how Skyrim's dungeons are not as fascinating as Morrowind's or whatever. But then they, it, it's such a weird fucking comparison, right? And clearly, yeah, that definitely, like, like, Skyrim has so many more interesting dungeons than Morrowind, whereas Morrowind does have a few really cool ones. But the vast majority of Morrowinds are extremely just, like, go in one door and then you go back out, right? It's incredibly, like, straightforward, you know? But what they always do is, like, they use fucking Kogarun in Morrowind, which is, like, by far maybe the most complex dungeon in the entire game. And then they use an extremely simple Skyrim one, right? When they both have complex and uh, fairly straightforward dungeons, you know? I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Can I get a sneak attack off here? I'm in walk mode. Oh, shit! Cosnack, you fucked me again. There we go. Alright. Fine. Let's see. Anything there? Nah. Alright. Let's see. Anything else? Linen wraps? But yeah, I- like, I fucking love Morrowind, but also, on average, Skyrim dungeons are just more impressive than your average Morrowind dungeon, right? Because they just had- they got better, like, it's a, a lot of the same people working on plus more new hires, you know? It's, it's- like, Bethesda is pretty famous for having a lot of, like, veteran employees who have just been with them for a long-ass time. They just got better at making dungeons over time and all that. They had more time, more budget. You know? Okay. It's just a really <laughs> disingenuous comparison or assertion or whatever. Okay. Fuck, I can't believe somebody would be disingenuous on the internet. <laughs> or in general, I guess. Alright. Let's see, over here, let's flick on the lights. Look at these books all stood up and everything. You think the Draugr do that too? They just place all the books and shit just like that? <laughs> they also, <laughs> geez, they were, they were so glad when the creation engine <laughs> came out, right? When it updated from uh, fucking Gamebryo from Oblivion to Skyrim. Oh my gosh, it must have been such a pain for the Draugr in like, the third era trying to place these books. You place one down, the others just start floating away and shit. Ugh, what a pain. <laughs> okay, let's get into this. There we are. Okay, we're good. Oh, wow, flawless emerald. And some useful potions. Okay, let's engage stealth mode once more. Big pot up here. Oh, it cannot be messed around with. Okay. What was I even thinking? How about over here? Burial urn filled with a silver garnet ring. Did I loot this death overlord? Or death lord? Okay. Look, they're... <laughs> the Draugr naming conventions are really wild when you get to the, the higher ends, right? <laughs> Draugr, death lord, death overlord. Sometimes there's a space, sometimes there isn't. Over Death Lord, Supreme Death Dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, jeez. Over here, what have we got? Burial Urn, Silver Garnet Ring, Ancient Nords of Yore, Ancient Draugr, and all that shit. They were very edgy. Really into <laughs> just having death. <laughs> At the end, the fucking Dragon Priest in here. This is gonna be fucking XX Death XX Sephiroth XX. 
<laughs> that's their, that's the final, like, <laughs> generic drogger. <laughs> it's got Sephiroth in its name. <laughs> Fuck yes. Okay, let's see. Let's check out our fun little glass dragon claw. What have we got? Uh, fucking fox owl snake. Okay. Fox owl snake. Fox owl snake. There we go. Hey, do we even know for sure it's an owl? What if it's a cocoon? <laughs> it's definitely an owl. <laughs> What if it's a Kakuna? Or like a Metapod, huh? Oh shit, look at this room. Jeez, no wonder they put the, like, claw lock on it. They had to keep all the cold air locked in here. Jeez, they need to call a fucking HVAC specialist or something. Okay. Holy got shit. got a bad feeling. Yeah, it's real cold in here. And big. Uh-oh. They don't actually know I'm here yet. Oh, oh fuck. No! Oh, I ruined my sneak attack. Okay. Good thing the Dragon Priest is just not fucking around. Well, <laughs> in a good way for us. Right. Arr. Oh, shit. Look at them run. What is this new, like, tactic that they've got where they run from us? What is up with that? Is it because of Cosmic? <laughs> it's because Cosmic is with us now? They're intimidated by his fucking glistening bod? <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh, look at this. Look at old Regat. What do you even do, Regat? What is that, a healing spell? Look at this doofus. What are you gonna do? Look, can you even attack? Oh, shit. Oh, that was a flame atronic. Or how about this other creature? Let's take care of it, too. There we are. Okay. <laughs> yeah, look at Regat! Regat is peace-loving. <laughs> or maybe the, the mask has just really corroded that badly. Right, it's not glass, it's it's got like a heavy patina over it. <laughs> I can't see out of it. <laughs> I don't know who I'm looking at. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or 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 they left him with a uh empty fucking staff or whatever, right? <laughs> you all forgot to charge my staff, I only know healing spells. <laughs> Remember, look at this. the one in the middle. Yeah, get him, Koznak. <laughs> Look at this fool. Wow. Jeez. It's amazing they were a threat to anybody. Okay. I mean, I guess to be fair... Oh, shit. Okay. There... Oh, now you decide to use it, huh? Well, that was probably the weirdest dragon priest of all. Okay. Let's take the fun hat. Is it glass? I think it might be like Malachi. No, I think it does have like a... Yeah, like a patina. You know, like Statue of Liberty style or whatever. Where you have copper. Okay. Dragon Priest Staff. Oh, look! Yeah, it was fully charged. Wall of Fire. They didn't know what to do. They were mystified by Koznak again, weren't they? Similar to the ones that would run. They were just mystified by Koznak's, like, glistening fucking bod. Okay, well, we gotta get rid of something here, Koznak. We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? I don't need to give. Oh, shit. Except, still not accustomed to the spacing on this keyboard. 
the alt key is significantly smaller than I'm used to. Okay. Give you all these. Great. Okay, you know what? That's fine for now. I don't need to sort through the rest of it. Okay, let's heal on up. Great. We did get everything we wanted. Should we take the Dragon Priest stuff? I guess we should. I mean, you know, it's got like a fun name. Even though it looks exactly the same as all the others. So, you know, if I go by... I mean, sure, if I could remember that it is the Dragon Priest staff. But listen to who's talking here. <laughs> I'm not going to remember that. <laughs> if it ain't got a unique model, am I really going to remember it? Let's be real. I'm not. <laughs> All right, let's go on over here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, at least my vision hasn't fucked up just yet. What's the hurry? Okay, over here. Good. What have we got in the big super chest? Some money and a resist shock potion. The rest of it is garbo. Oh, but there is some Daedric plate armor back here. And a glass greatsword. Cool. I mean, we've already got a Daedric plate armor. We'll need it for our collection. I'm almost positive we've found like three of them recently. Okay. Oh, this goes to the battlements. All right. Very well. Let's pop a quick save. There we go. Good, good, good. Holy shit, look at this. Okay. Over here. Oh, jeez. We're in combat with something. Are there more Draugr out here? Can we see our friend down there? No, maybe they're sleeping. Okay. Oh, it's a ghost. A lost paladin. Well, this one actually talks. Okay. It talks like a regular dude. Oh, these must be the people who were locked outside, right? Okay. Sure. Oh, yo! Chrisomir? When equipped, grants 15% resist fire, 10% absorb magic. Slow health regen during combat. What the fuck is this doing here? Was I supposed to get a quest for this? Was this the quest for it? Ooh. Okay. Yoink. Let's see here. Ugh, my nose is getting stuffed up a bit. Not a fan of that. Well, you know what? Cosnex already got going. a fucking, like, ebony two-hander. What do you need to take? What else can we give you? I kind of want to hold on to Chrismere in case he get disarmed. So we'll give you that shit. There we go. How about total weight? Yeah, we'll give you some of our other crafting junk. Good. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> it's no good. I hate it when it just starts moving around. Okay. Good. Stash all these. Great. Okay, can we move like Let's normal go. now? Wonderful. And yeah, why was there just a lost paladin up here? I guess they really- yeah, they were lost! <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were really lost. They were legit. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, look, there's a fucking word wall over here, too. <laughs> was this a lost word wall? <laughs> okay, what the hell am I gonna learn? The shrink ray, of course. Lightning storm. Right. Okay. That doesn't make any sense being here. <laughs> I think it was just 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 so happened to be. Okay. You know, sometimes they match up while well, like the the word wall there is in some way relevant to whatever the fuck is going on at the location. But definitely not in this case. Look, we can see the other cave over there that we would like to go to as well. Okay. I would love to like fling myself off the side, but we do actually need to go over here and talk to this person. Is that them right there? Oh, there they are. Okay. Let's see. Sir, did we check everything up here? Good thing I didn't jump down because of the fucking... the word wall shit was here the whole time. Okay. 
Let's see. Let's speed on along over here. Good. Okay. Anything that we may have missed? I don't think so. Okay. I guess we're clear to just jump down, right? Extremely wild that there is the Lost Paladin just here without even a note. Holding Chrysomir, of all things. For those who do not know, that is a... Artifact <gasps> from Morrowind. It may also be from... Return to me here once you've obtained the mask. Wait, it's haunted? I don't like ghosts. Let me think about this for a minute. Oh, shit! Oh! I see what's going on. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, some folks wrote in that depending, like last time, when we encountered this dude, they wrote in, folks Folks left comments, I, I didn't think to write it down because I didn't think it would come up, but that they're reactive to whatever side you are either on or slightly leaning toward with regards to your choices in the game. So in our case, dude was dressed up like a storm cloak because of what we did probably at the beginning or during season unending, right? And because this person is dressed up as an Imperial, they have doned, like, high-ranking Imperial shit. Me? Oh, I'm too important to the war effort to risk life and limb in there. Besides, that's what I'm paying you for. So they're playing both sides. Are they... Wait, if they're playing both the sides, are they Thalmor, then? Oh, uh... <laughs> hold on, I, I, I can explain. Thalmor, you rat. You're not a soldier at all. Must be one of the Thalmor. Yeah, that's what Never I said. Should have come here. Okay. Guns. Cool. Whoa! Come on! Come on! <laughs> oh God! Come on! We don't gotta fight. We don't gotta fight. I yield. Yeah, run. Get out of here. Look out! A shirtless man is gonna show up and start pummeling the shit out of you. Oh God! Here he is. <laughs> okay. Foral host entrance key. Some minor healing potions. A torch. I guess I'll take an extra torch. Valmir's orders. You will proceed to the ruins of Furlhos to retrieve the mask from the dragon cult there. If you are discovered, impersonate an officer. It is unlikely that anyone from Skyrim will be clever enough to see through the disguise. Once you have obtained the mask, bring it to Labyrinthian. Oh... So they wanted access to that. Huh. Okay. Jeez. This isn't gonna get us on bad terms with, uh... I'll raise a cup to your Tullius, right? <laughs> okay, we can go through their shit, I guess. You know what, here, maybe, maybe if we go in and out of the dungeon, it'll be a-okay, right? Let's see. I think there was also a bed, like, kind of close to the entry area, which we could definitely use right about now. Wasn't there a place to rest here? I could have sworn. Oh, fuck! Oh, I ran right into it! Jeez, okay. <laughs> well, at least we know we can uh, take one of those now. <laughs> I completely forgot about it. Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's see. Down here. Now that goes into the crypt. Maybe there wasn't actually a place to rest. Am I just imagining it? It's possible. I mean, there was one outside, but it's not going to get us fully rested. I mean, I'll, I'll take it, you know. We're getting to that point where I'll fucking take it if I need to. But I'd rather get well rested. Ah, uh, here we Oh, shit, no, it's already occupied. Okay. Anything else? No. Oh! Oh, come on! That counts? Come on! 
<laughs> All right. Wow, we haven't been in this room, actually. <laughs> Have we? Oh, no. Oh, we killed a ghost and... Okay, we just proceeded fairly quickly, I guess. Sure. Let's see over here. Come on, surely one of these beds. Come on, it's just bones. I've slept next to bones before. I'm not that squeamish. There's bones inside of me. It's probably way scarier to sleep next to Koznak at night. Him just like drunkenly staring at you, breathing his stink breath. There we go, a pet roll. I guess I'll settle for this. Okay, let's go for 10 hours. Seems good. All right, yeah, we got a level. How about... How about some health, why not? There we are. Oh shit, I've got the severe brown rot. Okay. Good thing we found all those dead vigilance of Stendar earlier. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh fuck. Oh jeez, how, <laughs> how the fuck do you get out again? Okay. Is it over here? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, shit. Dodged it. Nailed it. Okay. Cool. Let's head up back out. Maybe Koznak is chilled. Oh, shit. Oh, this is totally the wrong time of day. <laughs> okay, my bad. I should have gone for, like, yeah, 22 hours or something. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's go on back. Good. Oh, shit. Where the fuck was it again? Oh, God. <laughs> I think it was... Was it in here? No. Okay, okay, okay. It was over this direction, I think? Right? Yeah, okay. Through the chopping room. Good. And then... There we are. Okay. Great. Now let's go for... Whoops. 12 hours. Wonderful. Okay, that's what we want. <sighs> All right. Now... Oop. Man, that last one always slices me just a bit. Okay, now we can head on out. Good, good, good. Need some of that. How does Chrysomir look? Because in Morrowind, it didn't actually have, like, a fairly... Yeah, okay. I want to say it did have a unique model in Morrowind, but it wasn't much to write home about whatsoever. Like, it it was kind of like this, you know? This is probably a fairly accurate representation of it. It just looked like a fucking, I don't know, video game-ass Zweihander. Okay. Let's head out of here. Oh shit, I almost thought Kosnak was going for that bird. Okay. You know what? We're not in co oh, okay, okay, it's happened. <laughs> Should we kill this dude? I mean, Kosnak is gonna take care of it. Jesus, Kosnak. Wow, that was a unique, like, drunk guy audio. I'll raise a cup to your grave. Wow. I want more of that. Okay, we didn't get, like, a bounty or any quest update. Okay. It's all good. Amulet de Bella, too. And three gold. Love it. Good job, Kosnak. Oh, look at this fire animation. Jeez. Wall of fire and wall of flame. Looking like fucking Twisted Metal 2 out here. Okay. Sure. So I should be good to take this now, right? Yeah. No one to report my criminal activity. I'm surprised there was no follow-up after this little fun reveal. Okay. Sure. What was what was ultimately the plan here too, by the way? Like when we came out? Was how was he gonna get the like was he would he just like kill us for the mask? Or I guess we would just hand it over. Right, despite <laughs> despite the fact that we uh, we've already been to the place where they need to be assembled, we would just decide, eh, you can go in. <laughs> I guess that yeah, I guess that was it. Okay. 
Interesting. I'm surprised that, they, like, if they do have an interest in the Labyrinthian mask assembly shit, that they aren't at more of these ancient Nord ruins, right? I'm pretty sure they did have a presence at the mask area, right? There's, like, a node or a body or, like, a backpack or something there. Something along those lines. But not... I don't think so at any of the other Dragon Priest areas, right? I think there wasn't. Huh. All right, well, when next we come back, we'll go check out that fun cave over there, right? Until next time, please take care of each other.